generic greetings and welcome back once again to Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we once again expanded our rail network. This time, we weren't touching the freight side of it, it was more the passenger side. And we changed up the Earl Shilton to Settle rail line to also now include Elland, which means it's now technically Elland to Settle via Earl Shilton. And because of that, and after adding another two new trains on there, including expanding the original one, we now have a lot of money coming in. I think the highest was about five and a half million. Uh, it's currently 5.4 million, so that is very, very good in terms of money making. You can see also there's a lot of people waiting at the Earl Shilton uh, terminal as well. The disadvantage is that the Earl Shilton to Congleton boats, ships, docks, water transport solution systems is currently a bit crap. Four people waiting at Congleton. That is not very good. However, we have made our money and I believe we've done the right thing by moving the brand shiny new boat over to a more suitable job which is transporting the planks from here and at least putting some sort of service on from Earl Shilton over to Congleton. It's still the Riggy, so it's still an old vessel and it's uh, not very fast, but at least is some service. You know, we've done the right thing, even though it's not very good for us, it is actually detrimental. We will be losing money on that, and well, it, that's it, we are just losing money on it. It's just a money sink. I think, oh, uh, earning, <laughs> as you can see, yeah, nearly 7 million off one line. I think we can afford that little bit of expense. And speaking of expense, we can build airports now. The problem with airports is that they are 4 million, uh, and plus and minus how much they need to change the uh, land, and we need two of them. However, the question come, uh, the question uh, I've got is, do we need them? I don't think we do need it. It would be nice, but this is this is where we see the disadvantages of uh, this map. We've got some new vehicles there. We've got a, a Schneider a PB2, a C6-72 Crocodile uh, electric locomotive, and a Donna Bursch, I think. And, yeah, you've got Elland to settle in very quick time and in the most uh, luxurious manner possible. Very, very nice. Nice and comforting via that train, but do we need a plane? Really? For this distance? This is where this sort of map size really starts to uh, be a bit of a problem. Going from Settle to Elland. Plane? Really? Really? Even worse, I was going to put it in Earl Shilton. Really? Do you need a plane going there? there? I don't think you do. Um, what would be nice is a plane from Congleton, because they don't connect directly to it. That might be something we can do. Well, sorry, I'll rephrase that. It is definitely something we can do. It just depends on whether we want to do that. Uh, apparently, the icon heads-up display can be turned on or off. Um, yes, that is that is correct. Um, you can also see uh, pollution. Oh dear. Um, and the best one is speed limits. And looks like this is fairly decent. It'll only be the crossings, which is slow. Yeah. And over here, which is 71. And this tight turn here, which is 52. Still not stupidly slow. It's, I mean, it's, it's fine for what we're doing. Anyway, let's try and place a couple of airfields in to see what it is like. Now, airfields, I am going to imagine, are very polluting. Uh, also, like, where do we want to connect them? Because if we have it... You can see um, it's dele it'll be deleting a lot of the... Uh, you can see it's altering a lot of the land because you need, like, a, a nice... A uh, bit to take off with, so it needs to all be cleared, but do we want it near the city? And if we have it near the city, is it, like, where does it connect up? We have one terminal and a hangar so we can buy planes, but I mean, you can see that it doesn't connect up, oh, no, sorry, it does connect up there, you can see it does connect up. Um, where would we have it then? I mean, we could place it around here, perhaps, um, and it does connect up there. I mean, do we want to do that? Is it strictly necessary, really? Um, I think what we'll do... Which way's the runway? That way. Um, so, maybe here, which connects up to that bus there. And it's sort of out the way. Okay, I don't think that's unreasonable. So let's place it 
I'll give it a quick, give it a little wee nudge that way. And the other two terminals will be better to connect up. Mm, oh yeah, connect it down the bottom. So maybe that's the way to go. Oh, six million. Maybe that's not the way to go. Uh, that can go in there. Click. Click. Uh, what? What? Why, why are you not build? Why is it not building? Um, am I missing something? Am I able to build anything? Uh, no, I am not. I've had this problem before, and I don't know what it is. That is very weird. Uh, it's not paused. Okay, uh, back in a moment. Okay, let's try this again. So, airport, one terminal. Uh, have a little spin about, and we'll place it. A little nudge to there, and that should be it. Click, and there we go. We have an airport. Let's go over to uh, the lag town that is uh, Congleton, and we'll place it in here. So, we'll probably place it... Um, if we rotate it right round to there, ah, now you can see the land, because of where it is, the contours would be, um, well, it would be changing the land quite somewhat, and we don't really want to do that. So, I'm going to place it probably, uh, see, putting it that way, you can see how much land is getting altered. Rotating that way is going to be the same thing. So, basically... Uh, no, I'd see down there would just be terrible. Over there is actually not bad. That would work actually here. It would look terrible. Like I mean, that's that's just some way. You'd... Would you want to place it there? To be fair. To be fair. It's not too bad there, but I don't like it. I don't like. I don't like that it's. I just don't like the orientation of it. I think that would be better. But we'd have to have another road. Not that that would be a problem. Further in there. Up there. Massive collisions because of how much land's being altered. Yeah, loads. Loads. <laughs> I mean, it would go there, but... Look at the land that's being edited. Don't mind it there, though. Hmm. Rotate it around the same deal. Although there's not too bad, because it goes right off the edge of the... Hmm, what is it like? Uh, it's not too bad. And it's right near the water, so it, like you would fly in that way. We'll do that. So get it in line with the real line. And there we go. What's it like? Uh, it's altered the land a little bit, but not too much. So that's okay. So, this is where we can have a line. <laughs> and you can configure it. You've got main building, passenger terminal, cargo terminal, and hangar. Um, this, I believe, does go... Yeah, there is a... There is a... Um, a bus service there. So, I'm guessing it's new line. Congleton Exchange. Oh, and you can see the circle though, <laughs> where it comes along. And there we go. That's the route. So it is CT to settle plane. And I wonder what, wonder what options it is. Um, that's yellow, and that's green. So actually, the colour it's picked is not too bad. Uh, that's a bit better for it. So, only one terminal. Can't add anything in there. I guess, by vehicle. Junkers F13, top speed 137 kilometres an hour, and cargo type passengers three 
capacity. Let's buy two of those. And why can we not buy? Quantity five can't buy. Strangely, because I hadn't clicked on it, but I had. Uh, I'll do. And only one place to put it on. On here. And there we have it. Our very first aircraft. Obviously at this stage, no... Uh, at this stage, no passengers. Not that we expect to have any passengers. Coming up to the terminal. I really hope the brakes have been serviced. Looks like they have been. Oh, you can see they've got like a... Tractor. Whoa! Ah, because the plane... <laughs> see the plane turned around. Um... Right, there it is. Let's see what it's like when it takes off. I can hear a train. Ah, there's the uh, smoke from that. So the runway is all lit up. You can see all the lights on it. Not exactly a massively advanced airfield. Not that we would expect. I mean, this is brand new and it's already got grime all over it. Typical. Workmanship, not as, uh, I was going to say, not as good as it used to be, but this is, uh, this is it used to be because we're in uh, the 20s now. And there we go. We're taking off. Our very first plane. Nice. I mean, that, ugh. I don't normally get motion sickness, but this is uh, changing that a bit. Wow. That's quite a nice view from up here. Of uh, Earl Shilton. See what rail line down there. It puts it in perspective for you, doesn't it? Leveling off. And there we are. Very nice. Cool. Well, let's see if that. Uh that even does anything. There's an achievement for running aircraft. So it is going from there over to there. Let's see if that's completely pointless. Um, where is the other aircraft? There it is there. I didn't assign all of them to the... That's actually not too much of a problem. Because... Uh... Oh, sorry. It went over Congleton, not Ella Shilton. Good grief. It'll be massive if it went over there. Um, there's our first plane. Barely see it. Little just blip there. <laughs> So we'll see if that works. We'll have people probably coming down. I don't know if it simulates like the new thing. <laughs> like, do people go, "Oh, planes! I I'd love to go on that." You know, a nice journey and adventure and that sort of thing. Nice experience. I don't think so. Don't think it simulates that. But anyway, that's in. It does have, uh, yeah, it goes up to these two. Uh, train uh, train stations. Um, stops for the bus. Excellent. Right, let's have a quick look at the line statistics. We can now see that we are losing money on the plane. We expected this. The bus, we are losing money on the CT bus. That's interesting. Hmm. Probably... I'll probably keep them for now. There's not... I mean, there's no point in really altering it massively because what we've just done might change it. Steel plank fluctuates. That's fine. Other buses are fine. EL Cole and EL Or. They're both fine, although I'm guessing their engines are... Oh, they're, all, they're only mediocre. Um, new boat. Only three passengers. Typical. Uh, and then there's other stuff as well. And, oh, we have the Daimler deck seat car and the Vickers Victoria. Which is, I'm going to guess, is going to be cargo. It's all cargo. Vickers Victoria, British transport aircraft, which was used for transport of troops around 100 were built. Built in 1922, or 1922 up to the 60s. Um, it's faster than the Junkers. Or Junkers. I think it's Junkers. Um, faster than that. And can carry more stuff but we're not using it for anything else really that's in let's have a quick look at this one no don't think we'll have anyone waiting there that's connected up to that 
do I want to add in something a bit closer? I think I do, just for bus slash tram stop. You can see it's different now. It's new. Let's put that in there. It's a lot newer. And we'll go for line manager. It is settle bus. I uh, see bus. And what I'm going to have to do is delete Manor Road and that. Add the station from Crescent to there. And then there and then there. There we go. Do I need to alter this? I don't think I do. I think it's close enough. Although, maybe it's best if we add one in. Just for the sake of completeness. And we'll alter this. This is Congleton bus and luckily after Manor Road that works exactly how I want it to. Right, so those are now in. Um, oh, you can see there's a lot more uh, planks waiting and also loads of machines too. And has that got, that's got loads of uh, wood on it there as well. Is that full? It's not full. That's just delivering that. So where's the... No, that's the steel one. So that's almost full. We're probably going to replace that with something. Let's have a look at what we can replace it with, actually. Manage vehicle. Replace. We now have the CE6-82 Crocodile. It is electric. Swiss electric locomotive, especially for heavy freight trains and winding lines such as the Gotthard Railway. The nickname Crocodile comes from the long flat muzzles and the green colour. It is, in terms of its power and tractive effort, it just blows everything else out of the water, basically. Not as fast, but it's really good. So, I think we electrify this whole line and change all of the freight stuff. I think we can do that quite easily. Yes, we can. We can just basically say electrify, electrify. I'm going to electrify both sides while I'm on. It's just easier. Um, oh. There we are. I don't know why I didn't do that automatically, but there you go. So this is costing a little bit of money, but it is just a little bit of money. Let's do those. We haven't got a one way system here. Don't need it. Probably could go back and alter it and make it a one-way system, but yeah, too much effort for just how much goes on here. And there we go. These ones will keep the steam. It's only the uh, that one there. To be fair, it's in bad condition, so we we're going to do this eventually, so it's a good time to do it. So replace selected vehicle with that and we are needing the oh we've got a gondola oh no we got that it's going to be the, the flat car with stakes in it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 20 cars long, it's still good. 22. What's the capacity of that now? Too much. Right, there is... How many... That's 160 capacity. It's 249 metres long. 10 million to replace that thing. And there it is. Um. Well, you know what? It's really not caring. It is heading off, and as you can see, we've got uh, the first electric train. That's really good. I do like that, especially on the on the wheels there. You can see where the drive motors are in the centre there. I'm driving one wheel, and then on the front two on the back, and then mirrored on the back as well. I don't know how it's going to take corners though. Quite long. Although to be fair, it will have. Ah, uh... oh, yeah, it'll be two bogies essentially. She might be four. 
looks like two, but anyway. Anyway, yeah, um, it's, 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 it's managing to go at 54 kilometers an hour, and behind, and it's fully, it's almost fully laden as well, as you can see. It's three times the length of this train, which is only, only carrying at the moment, well, it's carrying nothing at the moment, it's got no machines on it whatsoever. But it's still managing to pull away. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Um, cool. So this is going to drop off all of the uh, all of the planks here. I mean, it's going to stick out the back of the station, but it doesn't matter. It can unload them all. There you go. So it's going to drop all those off. First electric train arrived by an electric train and run a line. There you go. It's dropping them off. It's taking an age to load and unload. I mean, it would, wouldn't it? And how many have we got? We've got loads of machines to go. And... Ooh, just about the right amount. To be fair, though, we might be getting even more. Looking at this, we've still got loads of ore to be transported. Would it be best if we upgrade these? I think so. I think electrifying and upgrading those is the way forward. More steel uh, is probably that. It's probably the way forward. Let's do that then. So, over to here, and we are going to, once again, electrify the uh, the line. I think this is why the game uh, pretty much uh, was automatically uh, turning this on when we were building the lines up and round to, from Elland over to the uh, Earl Shilton and then over to Settle. It's because it, like, it knew that basically this is coming into play, so it turned, turned it on automatically. Uh, the problem is cost, uh, and the fact that we don't have enough money for it. But you can see that's loading up. But we are really in need. It is a supply problem. It wants to produce more. Look at the production. The production is only a third of what it could be. Whereas if we upgrade these, we'll probably uh, be quite good. Let's have a look here. We can see that the um, CT SE plane is... Oh, it's actually got some passengers! I'm much more excited about that than I probably should be, but uh, let's have a quick look. Yeah. And I'll be honest. She, I was going to say, looks absolutely terrified from over here. But, um... <laughs> as probably one of the first people, certainly around here, on a plane... Distinctively underwhelmed. Hmm. It's okay, but it's not a Pullman, is it? <laughs> well, at least that's working. That is good. Uh, are there any people waiting here? There are no people waiting at this uh, place, and I don't think there is. I don't think there will be over here. Uh, no, we've got nine people waiting for that plane. Okay, I'll tell you what then. Buy plane. <laughs> Wait, it's not a buy plane, it's a. I'm just going to shut up now. Uh, well, let's assign that. We'll put the Vickers on, and I'm assuming it says all cargo. Uh, people are cargo. So let's see if... Uh... Oh, no. No, it is actually it is actually just cargo, isn't it? Right, okay. Uh... Uh... Right, just reverse. This is going to do with two of you eating, mate. Uh, uh, okay, so let me get that line. Condition of multiple vehicles is very poor. Which ones? Uh, it's not telling me. I'll check later on. Uh, okay, that there. Uh, manage vehicle. Sell. Sell, 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 sell. Yes. Uh, but I think we will buy two more of those. There you go. And assigned. Job done. So, conditions of m multiple vehicles is poor. Let's have a quick look then. So, the CT to EL train shouldn't be very good condition. The planes are in very good condition. The bus is probably not. Uh, not a good condition. Uh, the machines. Let's have a quick look. Machines. Mediocre. I can live with that. Steel plank. Brand new. These. Brand new. The buses here. Good condition. The coal train. Mediocre. It's going to be the boats then, isn't it? Mediocre again. That's new. Those are new. Some of these buses will be old. But it says mediocre. We'll have to have a quick check on another one. Good. Yeah, because we in, uh, these are all new. These are new. It's these, in it? Yeah. 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 Okay. And, oh. These are still... 
Whoops. These here are still uh, <laughs> the old one. Okay, replace. That's my fault. Everything is. Uh, for that one, actually, wooden tools. Ah, the taken wood. Well, I guess we'll have to go with that one. So there's, the, there's those replaced. These then, these ships carry wood. Replace with that one. It's the fastest it can carry the most. You know what? I don't think we need three. It's going from there to there. And that's empty. That's full. That's... And what's that? That's Yeah, that's max output. And that's still waiting. Because these carry 100. And the faster, I reckon what we'll do is sell one of them and replace the other two with them things. There we go. A lot faster. Can carry uh, in total 260 as opposed to 300. So slightly less than what we had, but they also are faster. So that should be a better distribution, I believe, and... Uh, there's old planes going overhead. Excellent. So looking at the line, once again, it's only really this boat here that's not making any money, but strangely, 220,000 profit for the planes. Something I did not expect. Right, uh, so we've electrified this rail. So let us find the train. This one, manage vehicle, replace. It is going to be the crocodile. And what do we have on the back? Gondolas. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, how am I going to even tell? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 144 capacity. Uh, do we need that? Sure, it's actually better if I just check. Steel planks. 20 cars long. That's fine. That's what we need to do. So the call. Replace. Crocodile. Mm, actually, we won't place the call first. The oar is probably the better one to replace, considering the distance. It's a little bit further, you see. And... That's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 mil uh, 10 million for that. Okay. But... Considering this has got so much on the waiting there, I think this will be much better. And oh, we've got a glitch because I've replaced it. You see that? It's a uh, sort of glitch right out there. Interesting. <laughs> Not that it matters too much. And that was a good delivery. I mean, this is really starting to. Yeah, there you go. Look, so that's now going. And look, we've got loads of loads of coal because of it's because of the distance. You see. Um. I mean, we could replace that. Well, we are going to replace that. We're not going to have it as long. There's no no need. Um, I mean, it's 14 cars. We'll still have it with 14 cars. But there's no point in making it longer, I don't think. Whereas that, we're now carrying... How many is that? 160 or... So that's some heavy-duty stuff there. Which means that this will output more. Which means, overall more machines which means at the end of the day more more profit um which is good that we could probably replace as well i bet that's in poor condition i should really check it before i just start selling it mediocre condition we've overhauled the rest it would be rude not to um change this i've got seven box cars no we're not gonna have that we're gonna have that one and then box cars one two three four five six seven eight ten do we need 14 we don't 10. Yeah, hopefully that'll be fine. Oh, not enough money. Oh, who oh, knew? No. We've only got two and a bit million. So, that's a problem. And that's full. And there's still 35 there. And you can see there's no nowhere near as uh, much wood coming over here as well. How was that? Uh, 56. So I don't know if there's not enough. 
It's not. It seems to be a. I don't think it's a supply problem. Uh, we've got a Donia McCur and a Class A3 Flying Scotsman. Yes. Oh, we're so replacing these for the Flying Scotsman. <laughs> uh, let's see. If we happen to just say manage a vehicle, replace. There it is, the legend that is. Flying Scotsman is a pair of trains from London via York and Newcastle to Edinburgh and back via the East Coast Main Line. Both trains at Edinburgh and London stations at 10 a.m. I wonder where they'd cross then. Yeah, 120 kilometers an hour, steam locomotive power. Hell's bells, I didn't realize it was that powerful. Um, build date, 1925 up 1975. Technically, but it's still running now because I've been on it twice. Uh, <laughs> obviously, heritage lines and stuff. Anyway, that's something we will replace later on. How we're doing over here? That's starting to be about right. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we've we've pretty much doubled um, the production there. That one still waiting for stuff. Okay. So replace that one. Do I need to replace this one then? I think it would be worth it. Although it's mediocre and there's not much going in. No, okay. Let's check over here. It's just the wood. Yeah, I think we're just at max max capacity basically. We could always take the wood from there down to a boat and bring it over there and back but it's it's a huge logistical nightmare it's 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 all the way and along and yeah not worth it um let's have a quick look at the airport the airport is wow okay there are 70 78 people waiting okay then let's have a quick look jim passer aircraft built in uh Donia for the works in fred reich yeah butchered that again um capacity is five so manage line actually no 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 the planes replace with that and buy hmm, 12 of those and there we go this was only a test this was like does it work? You know, what's it like? But we've got so many people using it that we've really had to expand our services, which really can only be a good thing. Right, we are going to leave it there. A little bit of an odds and ends episode, this one. We've been replacing a lot of vehicles, changing things up, um, maximizing efficiency as best we can, and obviously playing with the new aircraft stuff, which is very, very nice indeed. Currently, Jan the 18th and 1926, so we're going to start to see some more aeroplanes, and... Wow, there it is. <laughs> That's cool. We have a lot more planage. Let's have a quick look at this as it takes off. Oh yeah, so the strangely like the pilots like open air. <laughs> um that's weird. But the passengers are down there. Excellent. There is our planes. All taken off, all working out. Anyway, next episode we will continue on. I'm going to replace these, or at least one of these, these, the last steam train on this line here, because as you can see, we've got a uh, lot, lot of, a uh, lot of requirements to carry the machines back, and we will look at perhaps starting something new in terms of supplying fuel to settle, which will be oil to there uh, it's crude oil it's oil to chemicals chemicals to fuel fuel to settle the problem is that we're probably best doing a rail service on that but I don't know it wouldn't be from that it would be a different line it would be a freight line 
and we'd have to cross this and go under that. And yeah, that's next episode. <laughs> it's a, a bit of a large one, that one. Anyway, we'll see how we get on. As always, we have enjoyed the video and the series thus far. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.